How to check the voltage drop on a long line. Quick start. How to check the voltage drop on a long line. Check whether the voltage drop on a long line exceeds the required value. Open X Spider software. Click on the demo icon and select the demo network option in the middle of the demo list. The zoom in function is activated by scrolling the mouse wheel. The pan function is activated by pressing the mouse wheel. Hold down and move the mouse. Disconnect all unwanted circuit breakers. Use the operate state in the property grid. Select the off option. Refine parameters of the load. The power of the load is 90 kilowatts. The recalculated current is displayed one line above the value of the power as 136.7 amps. The power factor value, cos, should also be modified. Refine parameters of the cable. The length of the cable is 250 meters. The required maximum voltage drop is 4%. Another value can be modified accordingly by the user. The cable is installed in the ground. The selected method is D2. In this case, it is necessary to change the ambient temperature of the ground according to the local conditions. The usually applied value in Europe is 20 degrees centigrade. Selection of cable type. Common types of cables are preferred because they clearly show all of the main parameters without the producer's type name. With respect to the length of the line, a copper cable with 95mm squared cross section can be selected. Selection of a suitable circuit breaker follows the value of the load current, such as 136.7 amps. Please note, selection of the exact type of breaker is not of crucial importance in this particular situation, because the voltage drop check is dependent on current only.
Run calculation and select voltage drop mode. Results are displayed on screen. Zoom in calculation results. The voltage drop on cable W2 is 3.9%, which is slightly below the required 4%. If needed, any modifications can be performed after double clicking on the cable. First results using XSpider can be available within 6 minutes. The last step can be export, saving or printing of the results.